All right, Shalom, man. Hey, we Israel United in Christ. We come out here to address the crime that's going on in the community. All right? We sick of the black man shooting the black man down. We sick of the black woman want to fight every weekend. We sick of the black woman want to be the white woman. We sick of the black man trying to save the white man. We out here to bring the solution to our community, man. Give me Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. Bring it out. It's time for this mess to stop. When is it gonna stop? It ain't gonna stop, it's gonna get worse. We gonna show you in the Bible, it's gonna get worse. So y'all can quit praying and going to these broke Christian pastors, all they want is your money. It's time for y'all to wake up and humble read. The book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse nine. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? The Bible said, how you gonna cleanse your ways? Cause we all done messed up. But how you gonna cleanse your way? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. By doing what? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. By taking heed to God's word. That what's gonna change, humbo. That's what's gonna change the black man. That's right. But who's willing to change? Don't nobody want to change. Everybody want to keep doing the same thing around here. Y'all want to get, y'all want to work the whole weekend, get high all weekend, get drunk all weekend, and then here come Friday, you ready to go to the crossing. Bring it up. Here comes Saturday, you ready to go to the crossing. We living for the weekend. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? The Bible got a question for the black man. What it say? Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Who gonna rise up with God against these young niggas terrorizing the streets? Who gonna rise up with God against these young niggas turn? Hey, got all these guns. Who gonna rise up with God against these gang bangers? Ain't no gangsters. Y'all ain't no gangsters. Cause you ran in somebody's house while they were asleep and shot them. That don't make you no gangster. Bring it up. The white man the real gangster. You wanna ask me? The white man the real gangster. He took a whole hemisphere. You fighting over a street corner, he took a whole western hemisphere and came and got you, put you on a cargo uh, slave ship, put chains around your neck, and brought you to a land that you didn't even not know. Now that's gangster. Bring it up. Bring it then up. he took you off the boat. Then he sold your black ass. That's gangster. Bring it up. Then when he sold you, guess what he did? He put drugs in your community. Bring now that's up. gangster. Then he want to lock you up for a bag of weed. Now that's gangster. Bring it up. He want to lock you up for having crack cocaine in your pocket, but he done stole a uh, whole land. He done killed over 77,000 Native American Indians, and then he wanted to say, hey, I'm going to lock you up for a bag of weed. Bring it up. When he going to throw his white ass in jail? Bring it up. When he going to shut the door behind himself? Bring it now, up. that's gangster. You niggas talking about you GDs ain't no gangster. You up. niggas talking about you Crips, 183rd, 6 that rolling 60. Y'all niggas ain't no gangsters. Bring the up. gangsters over there in that building right there, the humble police department. Because when they come, you running. Bring it up. They the gangsters. We sick of the crime in the community. Read what you got, huh? The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Man, what the, where the black man at? Where the Christian pastors at? No, they was in that church holding a funeral service, collecting money. They not out here in the streets trying to fix the community. The only people out here in the streets trying to fix the community is what? The Israelites. That's right. The Israelites, we the only ones trying to fix the problem. Because we coming out here to the problem. That's right. We not waiting on you. We having church right now. That's right. We bought the church to you. You might didn't want to go to church, but guess what? We bought it to you. That's right. Give me Luke chapter 4, uh, 23. We commanded to come out here. But nobody don't want to hear the word of God, though. They roll their window. They turn, they turn on uh, your God. They turn on Kevin Gates. And y'all wonder why our community is uh, out of order. Read. The book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. That's why you see men in purple out here, because God told us to go out to the highways and the hedges, man. That's where we at. The Christian pastors ain't going nowhere. They wait for you to come to church on Sunday. And Sunday ain't even the Lord's day. Sunday is the first day of the week. And they coming in and they teaching you lies. That's why the community is out of order. Read. And the Lord said unto his servant, go out into the highways and hedges. So that's why you see us in the highways and the hedges, man. Ain't playing with the people. Read. 
and compel them to come in. I'm compelling y'all to come in, man. It's time for y'all to what? To repent. Give me Matthew 4 and 17. Bring it up. It's time for the black man to repent. Y'all tired of the white man harassing y'all? Y'all were crying. They was all on Facebook talking about how they were taking folks to jail at this store last night. If y'all repent, y'all ain't got to worry about the white man taking you to jail. Because you're going to obey the laws of the land as well as the laws in this Bible. But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want to keep smoking weed, keep getting drunk, and the, and the police going to keep on oppressing us. God got them there to oppress us. He, got, he, got the, he brought you here for a reason. That's to be oppressed. Because you hard-headed. You are hard-headed. You hard-headed Negroes. God going to teach you. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. Bring it out. From the time Jesus began to preach. So Jesus began to preach. He said the same thing we said. Read. And to say, repent. Do what? Repent. Now keep living the way you want to live. Repent. God is telling you to change, to turn back, to come back. He said to repent. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do y'all know what it means when it say the kingdom of heaven is at hand? That nuclear destruction is coming to America. Bring it up. Nuclear bombs is coming to Humboldt. One day you're going to be sitting on the porch smoking a blunt, drinking a beer, smoking a cigarette. Man, you're going to see the sky uh, uh, melt away right in front of you. Bring it up. You're going, to see the, you're going to see the earth roll up as a scroll right in front of you. It's time for us to wake up and take our communities back. That's right. The white man can't change the black man's problem. You got to wake up and change your own problem. Bring That's right. When you gonna wake up and change your own problem? When you gonna have something to teach the young kid something besides basketball? That's how we teach our kid basketball, football, and how to rap, sing, and dance. And twerking. That's all the black little black girl know how to do is twerk. All the young black man know how to do is try to get in the studio and spend all his money on that studio equipment to tell the next brother to go kill somebody. Bring it out. Read what you got again. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From the time Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. The Bible telling us to repent, y'all. It's time for us to come back, man. Give me uh, Matt, uh give me Isaiah, uh, give me Isaiah 34 and 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. And another problem here, the black man, y'all don't want to read nothing. Y'all listen to all this dumb ass music, but y'all don't want to read nothing. When are you going to pick up something and read? This is what the Bible said. We read not the Holy Bible. We not no Muslims, all right? We ain't no Q-dogs. We ain't come out here to stump. We didn't come out here to step. We come out here to fix the problems that's going on in, uh, in Humboldt. That's right. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. See, that was wrong. Black men don't want to what? Read. Y'all don't want to read. Y'all think your God is going to tell y'all the truth. You think your uh, Kevin Gates, Lil Boosie, going to tell you uh, to put the guns down. Right. Now, them niggas telling you to pick the guns up. Them niggas the one telling you to shoot the club up. Go shoot the house up. Kick in the door. Wet the nigga up. Put a hundred rounds in them. Yeah. And then when they do it, we holler, let's pray. Everybody, it's time to pray. Now, you just heard your son listen to Lil Boosie. You should have told him to cut that mess off. You just heard your daughter listen to Beyonce, Nicki Minaj. You need to tell her to cut that mess off. Teaching her how to be a whore. That's what she doing. Teaching her how to drop it like it's hot. That's what she doing. But now, but don't nobody care until it happened to your family, though. Well, we the men of God, and we come out here because we care. That's right. right. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Evil communication. The Bible said that evil communicate uh, communication. It said be not deceived. Meaning don't be tricked. That what? Evil communication. It said evil communication. What you listening to? Read. Corrupt good manners. It's going to corrupt your good manners. I don't care how good you raise your daughter. If she keep listening to Beyonce, she going to end up pregnant. And she ain't going to know who the baby daddy is. That's right. If your son keep listening to uh, Lil Boosie, he going to end up dead or in jail. It don't matter how you raise him. Because the Bible said, what? Read that one more time. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The Bible said evil communication going to corrupt good manners. Right. Evil communication going to corrupt good manners, man. Give me, uh, give me uh, Psalms. Now, Proverbs 29 and 18. It's time for the black man to wake up. God waiting on you to wake up. 
That's why you said we're in a small number right here, believe us. Hey, he waking us up all over. So you can keep smoking your blunts, you can keep drinking your liquor, you can keep walking past the word of God, but God raising up the real soldiers. He, ra he waking up them dry bones on earth right now. A lot of y'all gonna just be rubble. A lot of y'all just gonna get burnt up when Donald Trump pushed the button. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to tell you the truth. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision. The Bible said where there is no vision. What? The people perish. So why the black man? I read that again. So why are we dying in the streets? Where there is no vision. We ain't got no vision. We don't know where we come from. We don't know where we at. We don't know where we going. We blind. We ain't got no vision. Read. Yeah. The people perish. That's why these young niggas shooting up people's houses. Because we ain't got no vision. Bring it up. When the black man going to stand up and skinny black men, the young black generation, a vision besides basketball and football and be rappers. Bring it up. When you going to teach them they can be a doctor, they can be a lawyer, they can be a police officer, they can up. be a probation officer. Bring but no, up. everybody trying to avoid that, though. Everybody talking about stop snitching, stop. Oh, man, let me go off in there. What you got right quick? The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So we're speaking the things that become sound doctrine. Read. That the aged men be sober. The aged men got to learn to be sober. But the old black man drinking themselves to death. They smoking themselves to death. They smoke snorting powder till they fall dead. Read. Grave. You got to teach them to be grave. Read. Temperate. Uh -huh. Sound in faith. Y'all need to know how to be sound in faith. Stand up for something. Quit lying down. Read. In charity, uh -huh. in patience. Uh -huh. All right, now go uh, go to Leviticus 5 and 1. Let me show y'all something. Because everybody want to commit something and do something and think God don't see you. Everybody want to have the rules. Stop snitching until it happens to your family. That's the nigga. Hey, that's what they put on their rap music. Stop snitching. Snitching against snitching. Stop snitching. That's what they do. Until it happened to their family, they on the news talking about somebody please turn turn yourself in. But it was stop snitching. Watch what the Bible say. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 5 and verse 1. And if a soul sin. So the Bible said, if a soul sin, read. And hear the voice of swearing. Uh -huh. And it's a witness. And if you see somebody commit a crime, like murder, shoot up somebody's house, if you see somebody doing that, read. Whether he has seen. They said, whether you were daring, you seen it for yourself, read. Or known of it. Or somebody told you, you just might know who done the crime. Read. If he do not utter it. I mean, if you don't go tell nobody, read. Then he shall bear his iniquity. And the Bible said that you was going to bear that iniquity. It's just like you killed him. It's just like you went and broke in that house. It's just like you did it. So if you know about a crime and you ain't utter it or you didn't tell it, guess what? You burned it up iniquity. So on judgment day, God going to look at you just because you knew it and you didn't say it. And guess what? He going to punish you for that. Give me uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse 19. Because a lot of people think God don't see them. Bring it up. God see everything. He know who killed who. He know who shot who. He know who broke into somebody's house. He know who lied. He know who cheated. He know everything. So don't think that you're going to get away just because the police ain't picked you up yet. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19. Such a man only fear of the eyes of men. See, that was wrong with the black man. We only fear the eyes of men. We don't fear God. We don't fear God. We fear the eyes of man. Read. And know if not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Did y'all hear that? God, God's eyes are 10,000 times more brighter than the sun. Y'all look at the sun going down now. God's eyes are 10,000 times more brighter than that. That means he see everything. So, nigga, you think you got away? You did not get away. God going to see you on judgment day. That's right. You did not get away. God know everything. What that scripture that said he, uh, nothing ain't hid from him? You know what I'm talking about? It's time for us to wake up and humble. Put these guns down and pick some books up. Put the guns down, pick some books up. Why the black man don't know nothing? All they doing is listen to this dumb rap music. All they know is 2 Chain. All they know is Lil Boosie. All they know is Kevin Gates. That's all they know. They don't know nothing about God in this Bible. Y'all don't know how special you are. What's up with y'all, man? Y'all know that y'all are the children of Israel? 
Do y'all know how? Hey, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 right quick, bro. Give me do. All right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. The black man, we don't know how special we are. The white man have beaten us down so bad in slavery, we think that we are niggas. We think we porch monkey. We think we coons. Up. What's up, Keisha? We think we coons. We think we are. We think we are each other's enemy. But if you're reading in the Bible, we're going to show you who the enemy God said your enemy is. So you can stop thinking that the Bloods and the Crips and the Gs and the Vice Lords are the enemies. Bring it out. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people. God said that you, young man, you are holy people. That's why when you're on that basketball court, you run faster than everybody. You jump higher than everybody out there. All right? Because God said that what? For thou art a holy people. See, the black man got to be taught this all over again. That you are holy. Meaning you are separate. God created you. He didn't create you like he created everybody else. Read. Right. Unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God chose you, black man. Read. To be a special people. See, God chose us to be a special people. But guess what? We robbing, shooting up, killing one another. Read. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. See, God chose you to be above all people. Yes. How did you get below all people? How did you go from being a king to a slave? How did you go from having your own land to coming to a land that you knew not, and now you the slave? You at the bottom. You got to go to the other nations for the want of all things. How? You got to start asking yourself that. And you sit up here and you know you better than everybody else. I remember when I was in high school and I played ball and I played football or whatever and I lined up against another nation. If I, I already knew I could beat them before the, they even blew the whistle. I knew I was better than him. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. See, that's what the Christian church ain't teaching our kids. They got them in there singing a good Christian song. They teach them how to play the organ. They teach them how to play the guitar. They teach them how to play the drum. But they're not teaching them how great they are. They're not teaching them who we are in the Bible. Until we understand who we are in the Bible, we're not going to understand the Bible. That's this is right. this black history right here. That's right. This is our black history book. The Bible is not a religious book. The white man took the Bible and gave you religion. The white man took the Bible and said, be a Baptist, be a Church of Christ, be a Jehovah Witness, be a Church of God in Christ, be a seven-day Adventist, be a Methodist. The white man gave you them religions. The white man gave you them religions, all right? But there's nowhere in the Bible that says be a Baptist. I can't find it. It don't nowhere in the Bible say be a Church, church of Christ. I can't find it. Nowhere in the Bible say be a Jehovah Witness. I can't find it. God gave us this. Go to Deuteronomy, since you're in Deuteronomy 4 and verse 44. Let me show you what God gave us. Let me show you how we ended up at the bottom of society in the Holy Bible. And I'm going to show you how we got there and how to fix it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 44. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. So this right here, the book of the Bible, this is the law God gave to the children of Israel. Who is the children of Israel today? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. We're not being taught that. Who are the children of Israel today? We're not being taught that. The children of Israel are shooting up, killing one another. That's right. Read. Yeah. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spoke unto the children of Israel. So this Bible, give me Baruch 4 and 1. This Bible is what was given to us. He didn't give us no denomination. He didn't give us no religion. This is what he gave us. You got any questions, Miss Wanda? You know how I know your name. I I thought I knew you. I was. Uh. I thought I knew you. You look so different. Yeah, I cut my hair. <laughs> you know how I know you. Read what you got. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is what the Bible says. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God. So God, God gave us the book. He gave us his commandments. He told us what to do to live and what we must do. If, if we don't do what he say do, he said we're going to die. Watch it. Let me show you something. And the law. That endure forever. So it said the law that endure forever, right? So how in the world you go to the Christian church? They say that the laws of God are done away with. The white man had taught them to teach us that the laws of God are done away with. All right, read. 
All they that keep it. He said, all they that keep the law, what's going to happen? Shall come to life. We was going to come to what? To life. No, death. To life. So if we want life, we got to keep God, law, statutes, and commandments. Is some more on that? But such as leave it. He said, such as leave this Bible, we done left the Bible. Watch what God say going to happen. Read. Shall die. It shall do what? Shall die. That's why we die, because we done left the Bible. It's a church on every corner, but ain't nobody teaching the Bible. We reading scripture for scripture. The Christian pastor will read you one scripture and tell you how he was. He used to chop cotton back in Mississippi somewhere. He'll come up with a scripture on how he used to hang out on the cross and smoke dope and do this and do that. He not reading out this Bible constantly. All right? Give me Isaiah 28. Let me show you something in verse 9. We study this Bible. The Bible says study to show thyself approved. How you know we, hey, we study the Bible. I'm going scripture for scripture. And I'm explaining what my point with the Bible. Watch this. The book of Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? So who are he going to teach the knowledge of this Bible to read? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who are he going to make to understand the doctrine? Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. It said them that are weaned from the milk, meaning you got to become as a little baby again, all right? You got to, even though you grown, you got to become as a child, all right? You got to be weaned from the milk, meaning that you was on your mama's breast. Read. And drawn from the breast. You got to be drawn from the breast, all right? So you got to become as a little child. Give me uh, Acts. Let's go to the book of Acts. Go to Acts chapter 8 and verse 30. Bring it out. All right? Watch this right here. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 30. Uh -huh. and, Philip ran, and Philip ran thither to him uh -huh. and, heard, and heard him read. Go up, go up right here. Uh, start at verse 27. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 27. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopian, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. So there was an Ethiopian. All right, read. Who had the charge of all her treasure uh -huh. and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, uh -huh. was running and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. He was what? He was, read that one more time. And read Isaiah the prophet. He read Isaiah the prophet. So Philip ran up to a man of Ethiopian eunuch and he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Read. Then the spirit said unto Philip, uh -huh. Go near and join thyself to this chariot. So he told. He told this uh, Philip, all right? It was a man of, he was an Israelite, but he was living in Ethiopia, all right? Let's get that straight. And join thyself right? to this chariot. He said, go near the man to the chariot where he was reading the book of Isaiah. Read. And Philip read thither to him and heard him read. He heard, him, he heard the man reading the Bible. Read. The prophet Isaiah uh -huh. and said, understandest thou what thou readest? He asked him, he said, you understand what you read? What did he say? And he said, how can I? He said, how can I understand? Read. Except some men shall guide me. He said somebody had to guide him on the understanding of the Bible. So we can't think we got to understand of the Bible. Guess what understanding we got of the Bible? Give me Deuteronomy chapter, uh, no, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. How do we understand the Bible? From our grandparents? How do our grandparents understand the Bible? From their parents? How do they understand the Bible? From their parents? It goes all the way back to slavery. It goes back to slavery, and guess who taught the slaves the Bible? The white man. So you, you think the white man going to teach the slave what he wants them to know or what they need to know? He taught us what he wanted us to know, and that was servants, obey your master. Bring it up. That's what he taught us. Bring it up. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, Therefore shalt thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in the want of all things. Because we were disobedient in God, we had to go to our enemies for the want of all things. Now, have you ever heard of this, Ms. Wanda, that we was the Israelites? You have? Watch this. Let me show you how to prove that we are the Israelites. All right? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse... Uh, is it, uh, which one I be? 11.26. Is it? 11.26. What did say? Yeah, watch this. All right, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 26. All right. Behold, I set before you this day. So God said, I've set before you this day, read. A 
blessing. He said a blessing mean good things, read. And a curse. And a curse. A curse mean bad things. So God said before the Israelites, he said, look, I'm going to give you a blessing on this side and a curse on this side, read. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. He said, I'm going to bless you if you obey the commandments of God. Read. Which I command you this day. And a curse. And a what? And a curse. He said, and a curse meaning bad, evil things. Read. If ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. He said if we be hard-headed and not obey the commandments of God, he said we was going to get that curse. Now, to show you that we the Israelites, let me show you the curses to show you that we are these people. Bring it out. They we not being taught this. This real black history right here. That's right. Black history book. Uh, black history is, is is the Bible. That's right. This our black history book right here. Cause everybody in this Bible is talking about this good things uh, gonna happen to them. It happened to us. All right. This Bible was written to you, bro. That's Watch. Right. I'm finna show you how you know it's a black history book. The white man didn't write the Bible. King James did not write the Bible. King James is a black man, according to the Bible. That's some more black history right there for you. All right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. He said, but it shall come to pass. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't do what God say do. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. If we don't observe to do all his commandments, not just ten commandments. We got to learn to do all God's commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because because that we didn't do what God again. said. Said, the I'm Israelites right. was in Egypt the first time we were slaves. All right? We built a pyramid. He sent Moses to come get us. He sent Moses and Aaron to come get us. He said, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. But God said, look. All right, you don't want to do what I say do after he delivered us. What? Read that part again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said that he was going to bring us back into Egypt. What does Egypt mean? God said he was going to bring the Israelites back into Egypt. I'm giving you an understanding of the Bible. Bring it out. All right, watch this. Exodus 22. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Right. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So he, God brought us out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for what? Bondage. What does bondage mean? Slavery. Captivity. All right. So go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is how you're going to understand this. Read. And the Lord. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again, meaning what? We just left out of Egypt. But if you don't do what I say do, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt, back into slavery, back into bondage again. But how we get over here, Miss Wanda? On what? How we get over here? Hey, bro, how we get over here? Ask him how we got over here. On the what? Oh he said, ship. See, boom, act like he crazy, but boom, listening. Boom, blowing that whistle, boom, act like he crazy, but boom, listening. All right? Boom said we got over here on the ship. Bring it up. Watch this right here. Read that whole thing again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said he's going to bring us in captivity again. Keep reading. With ships. With what? With ships. With cargo slave ships. That's in the Bible. That the nation of people was going to go back into slavery again on cargo slave ships. Who did that happen to? That happened to us. The white man ain't been nowhere. That he talking about he a Jew, right? He ain't been nowhere on no cargo slave ship. He ain't the real Jew. The real Jews are shooting up each other in America and throughout the whole world. The real Jews are strung out on crack. The real Jews are at the bottom of society. The real Jews are getting drunk on the porch right now. The real Jews are rolling up blunts. You know what I'm saying? The real Jews can't wait for uh, uh, to get high and go on the crossing. That's what the real Jews are doing. Bring the white up. man is not the real Jew. That's, That's what we need to come right. out and tell you that you are God's chosen people. That's but they right. going to take our nationality and call us niggers. They going to take your nationality and say, man, you a nigger. You a porch monkey. You a coon. You a Gentile. Bring it out, huh? You see what I'm saying? They ain't going to tell you that you the real Jew in the Bible. You from the tribe of Judah. That's where they get the word Jew from. 
Jesus Christ was a Jew. And guess what? Jesus Christ looked just like you. Yes, right. He don't look like no long, uh, a white man with blue eye, long, stringy dog hair. That ain't in the Bible. Read. By way thereof, by way whereof I spake unto thee. Read it from the top so they can get the whole understanding. We're finna grade to wrap it up. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God said he was going to bring us in over here again, boom. Real cargo slave ships, man. We are the people in the Bible. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said that we wasn't going to see our homeland no more again. We ain't been back to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is really our homeland. That's Africa right. is not our homeland. That's really? where they came and got you because they, we flee in, from Roman persecution in 70 A.D. All right, we fled into Egypt and we ended up in the western coast of Africa. Why? Because we couldn't run no more. It wasn't nowhere else to run. It was the Atlantic Ocean next. And the God called the enemy to come get you. Read that from the top again. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. We, can't, we didn't see our homeland as a people no more again. Boom. We've been in America. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said, and there, when you got out them slave ships, you was going to be sold. Who sold us, boom? When we got the slave ship, who sold us? Mr. Telephone The white man sold us, all right? There go, there go, there go, there go. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for buying men and buying women. They said we were going to be sold to our enemies again for who? For bond men, for bond men, read. And bond women, and bond women. The woman, you black woman, you was a slave too. I know you don't remember about being a slave because the white man don't gave you so many benefits that you don't forget being a slave. He don't gave you section eight, food stamp, wick, uh, all kind of stuff. You don't forget that you was a slave just like the black man. They took us, destroyed us, killed us, put us in prison, and made us. Now they making us gay as hell. And no man shall buy you. And no man. Read Numbers ten and nine. And then Matthew twenty six. No man shall buy you. Read Numbers ten and nine. Hey, boom, 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 boom. Pay attention, man. You disrupting the word of God with your madness, bro. Take that back over there. I'm just looking up in the sky. Bro. Okay, look up in the sky and be quiet then. Listen, bro, this is the word of God coming out that you in the room. Uh oh, you don't think the moon, the moon is up there? Listen, listen, reason, bro. bro. Listen. Yeah, read The that. book of Numbers, <clears throat> chapter 10, verse 9. And if ye go to war in your land uh -huh. against the enemy that oppresses you. So we go to war in the land against the enemy that oppresses us. Who oppressing you? Who got you out your mind right now? The white man, read. <laughs> then ye shall blow, ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God. So we blow with the horn, with the trumpet. Why? So we can be remembered by God. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.